this video is going to be a little bit topsy turvy. Uh, apologies for that, but um, I shall explain. I thought I'd do a bit of a backstory before um, carrying on with the rest of the video. So we're up on the North Devon coast at a place called, or walking down to a place called Black Church Rock. And this is my second morning here, or second day. Um, started off here yesterday. Things didn't quite go to plan. Um, bizarre, bizarre trip. We got to the uh, the car park, Browns and Wood National Trust car park, which is great. We stopped over there last night and stayed in the van. Uh, when we got there, we uh, there was um, a guy dressed in full Batman costume. <laughs> uh, so we we were sat there eating our pasta bolognese and I had a chicken tikka masala boiled in a bag thing which didn't agree with me quite quickly didn't agree with me I won't say any more about that but um, we basically took the advice of these guys in the car park who said they'd been down to the rock and they sent us in the completely wrong direction um, I actually knew the path that I'm on now which leads right down to it, which is about a mile. It takes about 20 minutes, half an hour. But, um, last night we went on a bit of a detour and ended up about a mile and a half, maybe even further away than we should have been. So it was a bit of a dash. So without further ado, I'll, um, I'll start off with the, uh, the shoot last night, which was very hurried. Uh, it's a bit windy down here, so excuse the uh, wind noise. Yeah, the sun's, um, as you can see in the background there, the sun's going down pretty quick. I've managed to get a couple of shots, which I'll put up in a minute on the digital setup. I've actually brought both my um, digital and film setup, uh, so I'm going to try and get a couple of film um, shots. My son's just jumped in a puddle by accident. <laughs> He's trying his feet out. So we're um, we're going to try and make the most of it tonight and then possibly come down again in the morning. So um, it might be a bit rushed tonight, but I'll put these shots up now and um, I'll join you in a minute when I've loaded my film up. So I'm hurriedly uh, loading some Velvia up in the Bronica. Um, I think the sun's just about disappeared, so I might get a couple of frames off, but it might be some nice little afterglow as well. So um, I'm gonna see, uh, see what happens. But uh, yeah, this is a bit of a disastrous shoot so far, but I've got a couple of frames in the bag, so hopefully they'll, um, they'll come out okay. Okay, you can see behind me the Black Church Rock, with the arches there. So sunset's over in the opposite direction tonight and it's just dipping down now because of this um, mishap we had about finding the place. It's, uh, it's left us a little time to, to photograph tonight, but I've got a couple of frames which I'm quite pleased with. Um, hopefully they've come out because you would have seen them just now. Um, so the plan is we're going to go back and camp in the van tonight up in the car park and then come back down again on the right path in the morning. So as you can see from that section, it was a bit rushed, but yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the with the shots that I've got, and despite the uh, rushing about. And as you can see, I'm using um, my 
two dual formats so I'm using digital and film on this on this little trip which uh, when you push for time certainly tests your um, your skills so yeah we've arrived at the beach again this morning we missed first light this morning because it wasn't it we got up and it was um, tipping down with rain um, wasn't very good at all blanket grey sky so we've uh, we've arrived now the, the clouds are breaking up a bit so the tides um, the rocks just around the corner so the tide is is in at the moment and going out so it's a very different shoot from, from last night uh, but we're going to see what we can get uh, you can clearly see if I'd spin you round in the background there just over my shoulder up there that's Lundy Island off in the Bristol Channel so we've got this beach behind us uh, the rock is just behind here which I'll show you again in a minute when we get further down onto the rocks on the beach uh, so yeah I think we're going to be shooting a side on looking out to uh, to Lundy Island uh, this morning so yeah I'm going to get down on the beach and um, set something up and see what uh, see what happens with the sun this morning if it arrives so here we are there's the Black Church Rock and as you can see the tides in around the base of it at the moment so I'm not going to get the same shots as I did last night the tide is is in but it's going out and you can see how how high the tide is at the moment uh, not not ideal but like I, said, I wanted to come down and try again this morning the uh, the cloud base is lifted now and there's a few chinks of blue in the sky so we should get some some light coming through pretty soon but there's some lovely uh, as well as all these boulders at the foreshore here just behind me there's a lovely um, some lovely cliffs along this this way as well as well as the main rock so I'm sure uh, I'm going to get something this morning so it's looking nice and it's dry which is good Okay, to start off with, I'm going to shoot some black and white, a little bit grey still, so I've got a nice shot set up along here with this tide line and obviously the rock in the background. Very simple shot, I've got a polarizer on, using the case polarizer and a very weak sort of 0.6 soft grad just down over the sky. And I've also got their um, ND16, which is a four stop filter, a nice sort of long exposure. And I'm just waiting now for the the waves to come in over these rocks at the foreground here and uh, get a nice sort of long exposure so that's that's the plan I'm getting about 15 second exposures up to about a minute uh, with the uh, with the ND filter on I'm not going to break the Velvia out this morning I shot some Velvia last night but, uh, but um, yeah, it's a black and white morning, I think, down here. The, the sun is starting to break through, but um, I might switch to digital in a minute, do a few digital shots as well, just a slightly longer longer perspective. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's nice, it's looking good. So hopefully these, these have come out. Uh, dropped a bit now the uh, the clouds come over a bit heavy so I'm, I'm just finishing off this shoot on digital just looking across the other way from obviously the rock in the background here some nice long exposures uh, it's because the sky is a little I don't really want to use a grad on this shot uh, so what I'm doing is I'm shooting three different exposures I'm going to blend them together later on
Well, yeah, this morning wasn't as good as I thought. Uh, light's a bit flat, but um, really pleased with the shots from last night. So, despite the rush, I think uh, I think I was quite pleased with the uh, with the shot last night. We've managed to get that very last bit of light and got here just in time, basically. Uh, we did, nearly nearly scrapped the shoot all together because it was getting to the point where I thought we wouldn't get down here. But um, yeah, so I'll um, I'm going to finish the video here. We are um, we are down here for another night and another day. Obviously today and obviously tomorrow tomorrow morning as well. So the plan is to go down a little bit further down the co the coast. So that will be a, a separate vlog. So please um, stay tuned if you want to watch that one. I'll put that one out at some point after this after this video. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, it's breakfast time, I think. We, we had an early start this morning. My boy is sat here looking a bit bedraggled. <laughs> so we're going to go back and have some porridge and um, rejuvenate ourselves and then move on and chill out for the day. The plan was to go for a swim, but um, I'm not sure if that's going to happen or yet. But uh, the weather's supposed to be improving this afternoon, so who knows. But yeah, thanks for, um, thanks for watching this one. Despite the rush, uh, I'm quite pleased with the results, so again, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you on the next one.